गुड इवनिंग फ्रेंड्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल हैप्पी न्यू ईयर टू ऑल ऑफ यू फ्रॉम द टीम ऑफ डी यू विजर्ट्स टूडे वी विल बी डूइंग एन इंटरेस्टिंग एक्टिविटी टूडे वी विल बी प्रूविंग द यूलर ऑयलर्स गैमा फंक्शन नाउ इफ यू इफ यू आर एबल टू रिकॉल इन द मंथ ऑफ डिसम्बर वी एक्चुअली यूज ऑयलर्स गैमा फंक्शन टू प्रूव दैट जीरो फैक्टोरियल इज इक्वल टू वन सो एट दैट टाइम आई सेट दैट वी विल बी प्रूविंग ऑयलर्स गैमा फंक्शन विच आई जस्ट गिव एन एक्सप्रेशन एट दैट टाइम एंड वी विल बी प्रूविंग इट इन द अपकमिंग टाइम so let's first recall what euler's gamma function was as you can see the name euler's gamma function so euler's gamma function which is gamma n is nothing but uh, n minus 1 factorial which is also in an integral form written as 0 to infinity e to the power minus x x to the power n minus 1 dx where n is any natural number yeah n is any natural number not natural number not necessarily natural number it can be any number which is a real number where n is belonging to any real number okay uh so let's move uh so this is our euler's gamma function so we will be proving it today by using successive differentiation we will be uh differentiating a function i will be taking a function a very simple function and i will be differentiating it and then i will be trying to reach this part i will be using an integral a function an integral of a function will be differentiating it and i will be trying to reach to this part okay so uh, in this process i will be requiring one more tool here which uh, i will introduce here uh, if most of you must not be knowing it but like there are cases that some of you may know that is the newton leibniz uh, integral newton leibniz integral now what this newton int uh, integral is basically here what you are doing is you are uh, differentiating an integral then what the expression will come so i will just write the straight forward thing that i am having a function an integral where the limits are also function of x and the function is a function of x and t and i am integrating with respect to dt so i decide to differentiate this whole function with respect to which should say is x so when i when i am differentiating it with respect to x what i will get is something like this the function replacing t with uh, the uh, what you should say is the limit upper limit into the differential of the upper limit minus the function replacing t with ax and into what you should say is the differential of the lower limit so this is something uh, which is uh, useful here and then there is one more term here that is an integral from ax to bx and the partial differential with respect to x of uh, the function x comma t dt so that integral so i will be using this thing now i will again uh, note you one more thing that if a and b are constants like uh, listen it carefully if a and b are constants they are not, not no functions of x but they are constants so what will happen is uh, as you can see here this is b dash of x and we know that the con the differentiation of a constant is zero so b dash of x will be tending will be going to zero similarly your a dash of x where a is also constant so this will be also going to zero so this whole two terms will be going to zero and what we will have is just this term so this is something which we will be using and uh, if time permits in future we will be trying to prove this thing also but let's now use it as a uh, we will be using it as a result okay we will be using it as a result so let's start so first i am taking a function that is e to the power minus ax dx and i am integrating it from zero to infinity so the integral is quite simple it is minus 1 upon a then you have e to the power minus ax 0 to infinity on solving you get 1 upon a on substituting the limits what you will get is you will get 1 upon a now what i am doing is this 0 to infinity e to the power minus ax dx is 1 upon a what i am doing here is i am differentiating this thing i am uh, differentiating this thing with respect to a differentiating with respect to a where this a can be this a which i have taken it's any real thing it can be a real function it can be a real constant it can be anything so that's why i have taken so i will be differentiating it with respect to a so what i get is uh, something like this d upon da and this will be d upon da so from there we go to the next step uh and using this limits thing because zero to infinity are zero and infinity are constants b dash and a dash will be zero so i, I will be using this result as such so let's go so this will be integral zero to infinity partial differential with respect to partial differentiation uh with respect to a e to the power minus ax 
dx and this will be minus 1 upon a square okay and uh, again solving this what you get is uh, the partial differentiation when we are taking this to be common it will be minus x e to the power minus a x into what you should say is uh, dx this is minus 1 upon a square now note a few things here when when i differentiated this function one time so i will note it here that is this is d by da okay so this is your uh, quantity which is d by da now i will again differentiate it with respect to a differentiating uh, with respect to a and that is why i said that the method which i am using here is a successive differentiation method so again i differentiated it with respect to a so again the same thing will happen because they are constants so it will be a partial differential with respect to a e to the power minus a a x okay dx and uh, i will take minus x here because x here is a constant we are not differentiating with respect to x and this will become if i am not wrong is 2 upon a cube will it it will become 2 upon a cube and again solving this uh, you get 0 to infinity what you are getting is uh, minus x and uh, one more minus x will be coming so i will make it minus x square and then e to the power minus ax into dx and this will be 2 upon a cube so i will note here that i have differentiated d square by da da square this is twice differential now you can see a pattern here like when i am differentiating it first time i am getting a 2 here when i am differentiating this is increasing so if i am differentiating it with n times here it will come as n plus 1 and what you are saying upstairs is you are saying you, you, you can see like this this is when i when i am differentiating it first time I'm, i have differentiated it one times so i am getting one factorial as you can see this can be written as 1 into 1 this can be written as 2 into 1 this can be written as again 2 into 1 so this is nothing but 2 factorial and this as i said if i am differentiating it n times this will be n plus 1 and this will be as i am differentiating it two times it will be n factorial now the problem here you may be saying like there is a negative here and there is a positive here so for that what we will account is we will account minus 1 to the power n so on generalizing this thing i will generalize and you can even see here when i am differentiating it twice i am getting here too so let's generalize it a bit because that is something which i have catched so you get it minus x to the power n i have differentiated n times okay so e to the power minus ax will remain the same you will get dx and you will get minus 1 to the power n and here you will get as i said n factorial upon e to the power n plus 1 so this is something which you will get now uh, here again one more thing which i will be doing is 0 to infinity i will take minus 1 to the power n common so this will become x to the power n e to the power minus ax dx is nothing but minus 1 to the power n n factorial upon a n plus 1 now minus 1 to the power n and minus 1 to the power n can be cancelled so let's move to the next page so uh, as we cancelled it so you have 0 to infinity and then uh, what you have is uh, x to the power n uh, e to the power minus ax dx and then what you have here is n factorial upon a to the power n plus 1 as we have seen this now uh, we are nearly we have nearly finished it now what you do is as i said already that a is something which can belong to real it can be a function it can be a function as well as a number and even a number number so replace a is equal to 1 in this expression replace a is equal to 1 in this expression so what you get is 0 to infinity uh, 0 to infinity you get x to the power n e to the power minus x dx and this will be n factorial upon 1 to the power n plus 1 and we know 1 to the power anything is 1 so this can be further written as 0 to infinity x to the power n e to the power minus x dx is nothing but n factorial so this is uh, the Euler's gamma function which I already wrote somewhat like this that 0 to infinity e to the power minus x x to the power n minus 1 dx is nothing but n minus 1 factorial here i have, I have just kept x my x to the power n minus 1 here it's n you can see that's n factorial this is n minus 1 factor so this is the proof for uh, euler's gamma function and we have proved it via successive differentiation so this is one of the methods of proving and very important thing here is a newton Leibniz. now we will be trying to prove newton Leibniz in the upcoming time i hope you may have enjoyed the lecture thank you for watching